goal. The next year will be Manchester United, Liverpool, and Manchester City set to battle it out for £105 million Argentine International in January. Manchester United, Liverpool, and Manchester City are reportedly set to battle it out in January for the signature of Argentino International Enzo Fernandez. The transfer window is fast approaching and three of the Premier League's biggest teams could be in the market for a new midfielder. It is the area of most concern for Liverpool, who have been decimated by injuries decision, while United are also in desperate need of another midfielder after missing out on Frankie de Jong. In the summer transfer window, City had much stronger option in midfield but will be looking to the future with Ilkay Gundogan now 32 and Kevin De Bruyne 31. Portuguese outlet Record Portugal, as reported by Couch Upside, claimed that United, City and Liverpool would all make a move for Benfica midfielder Fernandes in January. United are reported uh, to be crazy about the midfielder outside to be the main club interested in signing him. But the report adds that clubs will need to pay a huge £105 million risk close in his contract with Benfica to sign him this winter. Luis Enzo Fernandez The 21-year-old sold to Benfica from Argentine club Rifer Plate in June for a fee of around €10 million, Euros, £8.75 million, pounds. after scoring on his debut for the club in August. Fernandez has gone on to make 23 appearances for Benfica decision, scoring three times. He's also full Argentine international, having made his debut for his country in September in a 3-0 win over Honduras. Fernandez was named in Argentina's professional 28-man squad for the World Cup in Qatar, with the Lionel Scaloni's final squad set to be announced on Monday. But later this year, before his move from rifle play to Benfica, Fernandez was asked about a possible transfer to United or Real Madrid, who were also linked with him at the time. He told TYC Sport calmly, humbly, with a low profile, I tried to work day by day to keep improving and growing. Luckily, I'm finding regularity, continuity, and my teammates and the coaching staff helped me a lot. I handled it well. I'm grateful for the compliments, I read a lot of the message they sent and I'm happy. I will continue on this path. 